For June, I wanted to go with a colorful rainbow theme since June is Pride Month. Uh, so I ended up going with this rainbow paint drip theme. Here I am taking a piece of rainbow cardstock that I found at Target and I'm just uh, pasting it in and trimming it to size to match my cover page. And once I have that trimmed down, I'm just going ahead and rounding the corners off. Next, I am taking my June header sticker that I made and just putting that on top. And then I am going in and taking a black piece of paper from my Archer and Olive notepad and am pasting that in on the left side for my quote page. Once I have that piece of paper pasted down, I'm taking some more of that bright cardstock and I'm lining it up with my cover page just so I can cover up that gap on the edge of my quote page. So I'm just pasting that in and then trimming down the excess. Once I have that pasted in, I'm taking my quote and putting that down and decorating the bottom edge with some washi tape. And then it's time to move on to my packages and brain dump spread. So I made these headers out of my matte sticker paper with this paint drip decoration. And I thought that would be fun to have that go all the way across the page. So I'm just taking those and putting those in and then making sure to round the corners with my corner punch and just trimming off the excess. And now I am going ahead and decorating the page with the different paint drip washi tapes that I made as well. And I thought it would be fun to do something similar to what I did in my May strawberry plan with me and take some darker paper and cut wavy lines and put that on the corners. I felt that matched the shapes of the paint drip well. And then I'm just going ahead and adding in some more of that rainbow washi tape that I used on the front. Next, I am moving on to the next spread, which is my one line a day page and my mood tracker page. So again, I'm taking those headers that I uh, made and I'm putting them in and trimming down the excess. And once I have those headers in, I'm just flipping my notebook back around and and just going ahead and numbering down the left side of the page for all the days in June for my one line a day spread. And I thought I would go in with this yellow docker paper that I have on the left side to match my yellow page. And I'm then taking some more of the paint drip washi sticker that I made and just putting that in. And now I'm on my mood tracker page and I'm just taking the little paint blob mood tracker dates and sticking those in. And since we're going with a rainbow theme, I thought naturally the key had to be the colors of the rainbow. So I have six different colors this time. I have a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple for my key. And I'm just going ahead and shading in those boxes for my key. Once I have the key down, I'm just taking some washi tape to decorate the page and I'm trimming it and putting it in place. And now I'm moving on to my next spreads, which is my weeklies as well as my like tasks, events, and goals. So I'm taking the headers that I created and I'm putting those down and I'm just trimming off the excess and uh, rounding the corners. And now I am marking out halfway along the pages to cut out for my weekly planning sections. I'm going with a Dutch door, as I always do. I love my Dutch doors. So I'm just trimming those all out with my big pair of scissors. Once I have that trimmed, I am going ahead and measuring out the size of the page to mark where to put my daily stickers. And then I'm just placing my June overview calendar in the corner and I'm rounding out that edge. And then I'm going in and taking all of my paint drip 
numbers for the days of the month and I'm just putting those in on my little Dutch door columns that I made. And once I have all of those days in place, I am decorating the page with some washi tape to help divide up the different sections. So I'm using a combination of that rainbow washi tape and then the custom paint drip washi stickers that I made. And I'm just putting those in and trimming them to size. I thought it would also be a fun idea to take the paint drip washi stickers that I made since I had a lot left over to delineate my notes sections for each week in June. So I'm just taking those and, and trimming them down and then over top of writing notes on it. I'm just going through on each page. And then here on the back page, I took two different pieces and I'm putting those in place and made a section for notes for that week, as well as reflection to be a place that I can reflect on my goals and just how the month is going and how the year is going since we're already at month six of the year, which is absolutely crazy. And so that's all I have. So this is the final flip through. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you would subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one.